Hello and welcome to this meditation for overcoming feelings of anger. When we are presented with times of anger, it is helpful to have some techniques on hand to practice the skills to get through these moments with ease. If not tended to and observed properly, anger can overcome us and affect those we know and love. So get into a very comfortable position and allow your breath to become the focus of your attention. Notice the qualities of breathing in and out such as the expansion of your lungs and the fall of your belly. You can even notice the feeling of the air coming through your nose and out of your mouth. Breathing in expanding and breathing out contracting follow the breath and notice how it is keeping you alive in and out in and out now quiet the focus on your breath and close your eyes find a stillness where you can tune into the beating of your heart. Notice the gentle rhythm of the pumping and the rhythm of your heartbeat. Now become aware of the sounds around you, such as my voice and the beautiful music in this recording. Allow each sound to take you even deeper into a state of nice, calm relaxation. Effortlessly letting the outside world fade away. Focusing on the sound of my soothing voice guiding you along into the relaxation that you deserve today. Anger is something that is a distracting reaction that is covering up a softer emotion that you could be missing because the feeling of frustration is masking it. No. 
that what consumes your mind is what ends up controlling your life. Is being angry about something worth the time and energy it takes out of your life? In order to set the tone for your day, Start each day with gratitude, taking just three minutes when you rise from sleep to concentrate your focus on things that you are grateful for. Let's practice this technique right now. Bring into your mind something that you are grateful for. Perhaps someone came into your mind. A person or even an animal you deeply love. Maybe an object surfaced for you, your house or car, or a favorite item like a musical instrument or a nice couch to lay on. Maybe you are grateful for your health and vitality or even your career or activities you participate in. Allow your mind to be consumed right now with anything you are grateful for. You are changing your state of mind right now by practicing active gratitude. Now begin to imagine a time when you were angry or think of something that makes you angry and ask yourself if you were to die tomorrow was it worth wasting your time being angry You can choose how you want to emotionally be. Just how you can choose 
to not react with anger. Each moment that something upsets you is an opportunity. You are being presented with a choice of how you want to react. So just pause and breathe. See if this is something worth your energy and time to be upset over. If you live your life with anger or hate in your heart, you hurt yourself more than those you are upset at. Anger is something that should be watched with a gentle perspective. When you feel anger begin to rise in you, Say to yourself, I notice that I am becoming angry and breathe. This is a very important step in taking on anger head on while respecting yourself. As much as you can, begin to notice as soon as you are becoming upset and speak out loud, I notice that I am angry. Pause. taking deep and passionate breaths as soon as you are aware of unhealthy anger. Breathe in and out five times if you need to, counting along with each breath as you go, all the way up to ten if you have to. Let's practice this technique now. One, breathe in and out. Two, inhale and exhale. Three, breathe. Four, breathing in and out. And five, inhale and exhale. Good. Notice how you feel 
right now. One last powerful suggestion in overcoming anger is letting go of expectations. If you expect someone to be a way that they are not, then this opens a doorway for you to judge the situation and then apply anger to it. Fully let go of the need to change others into what you think they should be. Other people have their individual life path and must find out the truths in their life when they are ready. And even though they may do something that directly can cause you a chance to choose to become angry. Instead, choose to remain at peace within your body to treat yourself with respect as well as the other person. Anger may hurt others, but it is you who is most affected by it. Instead, choose peace. Choose to breathe. Choose to let others live. Express yourself in a calm and collected manner in a way that you find is respectful to what is true for you and how you can also respect the other person's life experience. Don't forget to breathe. Your breath is always there for you to use as a tool to calm yourself whenever you need to break the habit of reacting with anger. Good. Gently returning your awareness to the present moment. Bringing back with you new tools to use when you feel anger rise in your awareness. Breathing in new fresh energy. Opening your eyes whenever you are ready.